No, I did not know one serial killer. I knew two. This is Des Moines, Washington. It is halfway between Seattle and Tacoma, and it is the place that I grew up. A lot of weird things happened in this little town. No, I did not know one serial killer. I knew two. So this is the house I grew up in from elementary school all the way through college. And back then I was quite the serial killer. That's right, nobody could kill a box of Captain Crunch like I could. But while I was killing boxes of Captain Crunch, 1.9 miles away from here was one of the most prolific serial killers in American history. Before we go there, I'm gonna take you three blocks away, just three blocks from my house. I used to deliver newspapers to a house where now we know one of the most notorious teachers in modern American history lived. So I used to deliver newspapers to this house. I used to also walk up and down this road because there was a swimming pool down there. This was the home of Mary Kay Letourneau. Mary Kay Letourneau became a tabloid fodder when she started to date her student. He was first in second grade when they met and then they dated when he was in sixth grade or 12 years old, she was 34. She ended up going to prison twice and having a number of kids with him. They ended up getting married after uh, she went to prison for eight years. I have a friend that was a teacher at that school and they said they weren't really that surprised that the student was a very old soul and she was a very young and energetic person and they could kind of see how they fell in love. Anyway, that's where that happened, right there. He was 12. So we're 1.9 miles away from the house I grew up in and this is the home of my mom's best friend's first cousin. His name was Gary. We now know him as the Green River Killer. Lived right here and they believe he murdered 40 women in this place alone, over 71 women in total. And all the bodies were dropped in locations right near my house. So growing up, this was a big deal. We had no idea who it was. And now we know Green River Gary lived right there. So this is kind of a weird place. I haven't been here in a long time. As a matter of fact, when I was three years old, my parents used to have friends that lived in that house right there. And every Sunday we'd come down so my mom and dad could watch 60 Minutes. This is 60 Minutes. It's a kind of a magazine for television. When 60 Minutes came on, kids, you have to go outside. So we went outside and we went up next door to this house over here. And there was this really cool guy. He was an old guy. Remember, I'm three. He was like in high school, okay? And his name was Teddy, and he was so nice. Hey, Teddy, pass me the ball. Teddy, pass me the ball. Hey, Teddy, pick me up and let me slam dunk the ball. Teddy, pick me up and slam dunk the ball. So for, I don't know, a couple of years, we'd come and I'd play basketball right there with, with Teddy. So now let's fast forward. So fast forward about, I don't know, 12, 15 years, and my mom says, Hey, remember Teddy? Yeah, I remember Teddy. Whatever happened to that guy? Well, he's in the news. In the news? Why? What's his name? Teddy Bundy. Yes, right there was where Ted Bundy, the serial killer, lived, and he taught me how to play basketball when I was three years old. But I did learn a pretty killer hook shot, so got that. Normally on this show, we celebrate America. Yay, America! Yay, America! This isn't one of those shows. One more quick little fun fact. When I was doing a radio show in Indiana, there was a guy that used to write me these creepy letters all the time, and he used to brag that he was the guy that killed Jeffrey Dahmer in prison. Yay, him! So what did we learn in this show? I delivered newspapers to Mary Kay Laderno. Gary Ridgway was my mom's best friend's first cousin, and Ted Bundy taught me how to play basketball. Let's celebrate America. Yay, America. Hit the subscribe button, would you please?